Take It Easy by Eagles. So back to Roxy in the studio. Um, I was wondering if you wanted to share with us what you said about about mental health earlier. Um, yes, yeah, so my experience with mental health um, personally is that so I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder about okay. three years ago. So I've been in and out of therapy for it. Um, but I found that my greatest release was music. Um, so at one stage I wouldn't even like, leave a garage, I was living in a house and I was like, I just used to be in the garage all the time, my anxiety was really bad. Yeah. And um, I remember my the therapist I had at the time, I'm, I think it's really good to talk openly about mental health and everything because yeah. it's, it's good to show that other people go through um, experiences as well. And um, my therapist said for me to draw, because I doodle, I used uh -huh. to doodle. Yeah. And she was like, oh, just draw, just draw, create art, create art. And um, my doodles turned into huge portraits of oil canvases. Oh, wow. <laughs> just to show That's amazing. Like, what was going on in my so mind? It was like an artist as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like to paint. Um, amazing. So I love to, but, and I express myself through through uh, through music. And some of the songs I wrote when I was in a really bad time, in a really bad space, headspace. And um, some of the music is amazing to see that now I'm on. I go, I go to rehearsals. I've got an incredible band to work with, Five yeah. Five Six, we're a local Bedford band. All right. And um, I go to gigs or we go to rehearsals, and they play the songs that I wrote when I was at my worst. Oh, and it's just excellent. Yeah, and it, I, I try to express to them how it feels because I'll say to them that I wrote this in such a dark time. I didn't write. I didn't write it for a purpose mm. other than because I felt it. Yeah. And what I found really intriguing is that because I needed the music, like I, it was my escapism. When you said earlier on that people enjoy my music, like you, you mm. listeners enjoy my music, yeah. that to me means a lot because I'm. It surprises me because I, it's a, it's kind of the, the the product of hurt and pain. If that yeah, bad product, yeah. but it's a positive byproduct mm. because yeah. it's yeah. just really nice to get that feedback from something mm. that was quite difficult at yeah. the time yeah and and you said you didn't write it for a purpose but to me it's it is a purpose because the purpose it serves you writing it is making you feel better yeah and then when people share your creativity that makes you feel um, yeah. good as well yeah. I, I write poetry and and most of my poetry is very sad and gloomy and about <laughs> angst basically i write well about angst but when I'm feeling down and I write something, I then share it with people and then I get a buzz. Yeah, so yeah. Can you, that's the purpose. Um, what do you mean by angst? Sorry, um, just, suffering, just suffering and feeling all like um, yearning yeah. um, for things to be different. And, but but that's, that yeah. comes from a mm. core, like the, there must mm. be some, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. It, it, yeah no, it's kind of the, your vulnerability yeah. opens up the mm. doors for other people for, to say, yeah, yeah we can relate to that. Yeah, and that certainly. Um, gives me more creativity yeah. than happy. I do write some happy things, but I kind of have to have to force myself to write happy things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The other things just come to me. Yeah. So yeah, I found that I did that in terms of like writing. I just remember I was walking down the street and someone was like, "Oh, Rox, you create music. I love your music." And I was like, "Because I release it and I do music videos and everything because mm -hmm. it, it distracted me from what was going on in my yeah. life." Yeah. And then I just remember walking down the street and someone like, "Rox, like keep going with your music." And I was like, "Oh, like." Oh yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I've got that an audience. To yeah, to like, yeah, and I, it, every time someone says something mm. nice to me, it hits me hard. I'm oh. like, oh my gosh! Mm. Like to know that it all turned out to be positive. Mm. And it's like my sister. Um, you should be happy for me to mention this. She's I'm an identical twin, and she went through. Oh, I didn't know you were twins when you yeah, mentioned identical, sister. Yeah, wow. we're identical twins, and she went through a really, really, really tough patch in terms of mental health. And um, she went through a first episode psychosis. She was literally yeah. homeless at one stage, and um, she's come out of the other end with a website and a platform called I Can Relate. Mm -hmm. So what she does with that platform is interviews people who have got mental health, yeah. varying degrees mm. of uh, mental health, um, different diagnoses, mm. so it's, and she just talks to them. Mm. There's no uh, kind of advice given or information. It's just talking and saying. Yeah. This is what we go through, and that the concept is, I can relate, or mm -hmm. you can't relate. Yeah. But the not being able to relate opens that door it's of also, conversation yeah. and mm. saying, okay, but why can't I relate? So it just gives that kind of a different perspective. But she's she's just an amazing, she's an incredible, mm. absolutely incredible. Yeah, that's good. And what did you say it was called? I can it's relate. It's called I can relate. So the website's yeah. www.icanrelate.co.uk. Yeah. So www.icanrelate. 
dot co dot uk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check that out. And what's your twin sister's Zoe. name? Zoe. Zoe. Yeah. yeah. So she's um, pioneering that um, organically because she still goes through things, but she's so strong. Like she's mm -hmm. so strong. She, yeah. she admits she'll say it openly. She's like, yeah, I have my days, but we all mm -hmm. have our days as well. Yeah, we so, do. Yeah. And, and you say she still goes through things. And earlier, Roxy was telling me that we all have mental health um, issues. And you know, I totally agree with that. Some have it more than others, but yeah. we all do. Yeah, have it. yeah. Because yeah. I have days like I just yeah, I have really difficult times. But I, it's about finding different. I've had so much therapy for it in a good way that I get so mm. much advice on how to deal with different things. You've got like co cognitive functions, relationship. Mm. Um, when it comes to relationship, talking through things, um, jogging, exercising, walking. Go for a walk every morning, every morning, mm. and that's one of the best things that's ever happened for my mental Excellent. health. Just yeah. Mm. structure just walk in and just mm. say okay yeah this is it's, what i'm gonna do yeah. it's very good and i'll tell you share something with you that um i found out recently on a course how walking helps with trauma as well everyone knows walking is good for you it's exercise and you know the looking at nature but this chap was saying to us walking forwards and i wondered why he kept saying walking forwards but then i thought of course you can still walk on a treadmill and get exercise but he said that the importance of walking forwards and how it helps with trauma is that you have an almost imperceptible movement side to side with your eyes so you're looking at side to side moving your eyes very slightly and that actually acts as a therapeutic thing for trauma that's so interesting and, and there is this rapid eye movement therapy as well and you're actually doing that for yourself when you're walking that is so I, I, I actually agree with that in terms of i've been through so many like in great in a great way i do i do like i like having therapy it's fun <laughs> it's good it's good yeah. i like having therapy it's good because yeah. you're yeah. like oh i still want to know <laughs> you want to like find out more because it's yeah. like mm. self-reflection isn't it it is yeah. but the i i've been the strongest i've been from walking mm -hmm. ever Excellent. yeah and mm -hmm. throughout the last four years just from saying just grounding myself every morning and saying okay what's my day going to be yeah. i don't get overwhelmed mm. it just starts the day gradually and it just yeah. um but even because i know some people you might not be able to walk and things as well but even mm. just getting a bit of nature just mm. sitting outside yeah. and like on the bench and yes. watching the world go by mm. it just it gives you that yeah, yeah it just mm -hmm. makes you realize there's a whole world out there and it gives you that mm. sense of reflection and self-reflection you just calmness that we yeah. all need in life yeah excellent so roxy was telling me about a song that she wrote and she is going to sing it a cappella i don't know whether you're ready to do that yeah yeah, yeah, no. yeah but you have a story behind it yeah I mean, so when things are a bit tough i went to i was at a cocktail bar in manchester and um these doctors walked in and um i was going for a real rock and roll rock and roll patch and they gave me a lottery ticket and they're like if this wins just start again and i was like you know what i've got nothing to lose and it did win but only won 12 pounds so i put it i put it in the tank i put it straight in the car and i was just like let me just drive start again and i ended up in manchester I ended up in this ex-old people's home and um I, I i was in a really bad way i was in a really bad way and um i just got this the smallest room in the ex-old people's home and um i just I just wanted to just forget the world and I was it was, it was the lowest point of my life I think and um I wrote this song it's called Self Neglect. Oh, so, so are you ready to sing yeah, it yeah, for us now? Better. I lost my self-respect, self it's self neglect, sitting in a corner with a cigarette, feeling kind of hungry because I had an egg, nobody could help me because I wouldn't let them in. Cause I lost my mind A state of disillusion and I couldn't find The way to get on track but I never mind Self-destruction was the answer and it just felt right I had a responsibility I knew it was only up to me To get back up and on my feet But I didn't want to know, no I didn't want to know I gave up all my energy Fell in love with a man who was bad for me At the time, yeah, he didn't bother me Cause I didn't wanna know, no, I didn't wanna know When I needed you, you wasn't there Every time I called you, yeah, you didn't care Now you're giving me advice that isn't fair I do exactly what I want, cause it's my nightmare So, I'ma grab a drink I like it kinda strong, so I don't have to think of any of my problems, my anxieties 
I didn't care if you did not get around my lines at ease. I had a responsibility. I knew it was only up to me to get back up and on my feet. But I didn't want to know, no, I didn't want to know. I gave up all my energy. Fell in love with a man who was bad for me. At the time, though, it didn't bother me. Because I didn't want to know, no, I didn't want to know. How good was that, folks? And totally a cappella as well, live in the studio, Roxy BP, <laughs> with self neglect, yeah. which she did tell me that she hasn't released yet. But don't we agree that she should release this? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> definitely Thank release you. that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'll definitely. It's on right, online, um, but it's not released officially. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah, that's, a really, that's a compliment. Release Thank it. you. It's really good. And, so many people will identify with it and I found it quite touching and quite moving but also there's a very positive thing in there when you say I have a responsibility it's only up to me you are responsible for yourself and to make that change and you did make that change and yes. here you are that is one of the biggest lessons I've learned mm. to I used to always think I was angry a lot mm. at the time I was very angry because I was like no one's helping me no one's helping mm. me um but it starts with yourself. It starts with yourself, yeah, yeah. yes. And then once you yeah. master your own mind, mm. things yeah. get a lot easier. Yeah, helping yourself starts with yourself. Um, making a change starts with yourself. Yeah. Loving starts with yourself, self-loving. Yeah, and daring Respect. to ask for help. Yeah. So yeah. That's one thing I never did. I used to, I, I used to run away a lot. <laughs> that's how I ended yeah. up in Manchester. Yeah. I used to run from all it's my quite problems. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I've moved so much yeah. in the in the years. Yeah. Like so many times. I've moved a ridiculous number of times. Mm. It gets a bit of a laughing joke now in terms of people who say, Oh, where where are you living now? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but I don't want to do that anymore. I'm gonna i I've learned to stop yeah. and stop running mm. and, and just asking other people for support and saying this mm. is hard. Yes. It's been difficult and, yeah. and it's, getting that support. It's very hard to make yourself vulnerable, but once you do you realise that so many other people are also experiencing these things and then so, people make themselves vulnerable It's a game well. changer. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's like, it, it's, it's, it seems like the hardest thing in the world to do to just say, I'm struggling. Yeah. It mm. seems like the hard, but once you actually admit it to yourself and, mm. and just say, look, I need some support here, it, everything changes. Mm. The light gets lighter. It's like the darkness yeah. starts to fade and oh, everything starts to get a lot. Yeah, I don't hear a lot of song coming on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good idea. I've got a pen and paper, I'll write it down. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play a song to give Rock.